Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. And so we stand for the anthems. down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it You've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Chiro Immobile. He's your classic striker, Peter. Absolutely lethal when he's got a sight of goal. He can play both on the shoulder of the defender or as a kind of target man. But given his superlative finishing ability, his teammates should be looking to get the ball to him in the box whenever possible. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. There's the whistle. Burak Yilmaz. Chalhanolu. Sönchu. Tufan. Sönchu. Gets into a dangerous position. Chiesa. Well, that's clear cut. It's a free kick. In comes the corner. Tries a shot! Oh, it just wouldn't sit for him. Oh, that's unlucky. The idea was really smart for me, and, and he's had a good go at it. Immobile hits it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Chalhanolu tries to get it forward quickly. One way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Is there any support? He might not need it. It's deflected over the goal line for a corner. Tries to get it clear. It's Ferrati. Shapes to shoot! That's a half decent try. Marco Ferrati clearly became one eyed then. He just decided to force it. Oh, 
well done, he's asking for trouble. It's Immobile! Goal, Italy! And Italy score first. And it has to be said, an absolute gift. Italy take the early advantage. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Chalhanolu brings it forward. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Chalhanolu. Now it's Immobile. Oh, he's broken through. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Immobile, it's flagged offside. Chalhanolu. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Going through. Chiesa and the shot! Oh, good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. Well, the hold-up play as that move was being constructed was important for the runners and more really should have been made of it. Hoists it forward. And he's cut it out. Chiesa absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around him. Immobile! Oh, that's a fine save! Immobile really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Italy can try it again now. And a header! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Tufan. Chalhanolu. Tosun. Tufan. More than happy to take the muscular approach. There's a long ball. That intervention was very necessary. And it's Immobile. Immobile on a strong run down the right. Immobile. And that's been leave it clear. Has a hit! Just off target. Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. Tosun. Chalhanolu. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Face to face with the real chance! They've done it! Two! 
Two to the good. They have breathing space. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. The Mugula showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. Italy take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. We're looking at a very different... Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. <laughs> Battles to win it back. the final action of the first half. Great back on the first 45 minutes. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why do they from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Italy in control at half-time, 2-0. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. And it's played forward. Bonucci gets into the right position to intercept. And it's Jorginho. Italy couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Hits one! Oh, the kick has done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Clear away. Tufan goes looking. Chelhanolu. Good idea, just poorly executed. Sunchu. Verratti. Now it's Immobile. Gets wrestled off the ball. Cuts it out. Forward it goes. And it's Chalhanolu. Out to the right. Oh, he's been flattened there. He's been taken down and the referee has pointed at the spot. Italy present their opponents with the best possible chance here. A lot of furious gesticulation, but it is never going to make the referee overturn a decision. He was just never going to miss. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. <laughs> we have got ourselves a game here. Oh, scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Chalhanolu. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Well, that goal really has stirred things up. The cat right amongst the pigeons now. Yeah, Peter, the, the cushion is gone, and it may get a little bumpier over the next few minutes, but it doesn't have to mean a momentum switch. If they can gather themselves quickly, they can hit back. Loses his balance and loses the ball. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away.
Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. So Inju plays it forward. Turkey have a free kick. He's left his man. Immobile. Has a hit! Oh, that is rather wayward. Immobile looked very impressive there. Well, at least until he got into a shooting position, something I'm sure he'll want to have a go at again. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. So Inju positions himself well and cuts it out. Italy are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Tosun. Cerenolu already, of course, on the score sheet. Gets into some space. Up to meet it! Oh, it should have been the equaliser. He was just a little too eager to get his chance away there, and it could have level matters. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Tosun. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Italy just have to run down the clock. Played into space out wide. That's found its target. Bonucci goes looking. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. <laughs> Bonucci. And here's Immobile, it's Immobile! That has certainly tested the keeper. Immobile simply didn't do anything wrong, he was thwarted by brilliance. <laughs> this official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Now it's Jorginho. Chalhanolu, and that's it. Italy wins by the odd goal. Win could have gone either way, but a win is a win. If you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim, well, they approach this with a very definite game plan, and I think to a large extent they remain true to that, and we can give the manager a, a big pat on the back. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.